All right, so look, man. Extremely quick video here, and probably one of the most random videos I ever posted on my channel, right? This one is going to be about Lil B, the bass guy. Shout out Lil B, man. A lot of people give him a hard time, honestly. I was a fan of the guy. I mean, I'm a 90s kid, right? So basically anybody from like 90 up up until, uh, I will say 2000. So that, that decade right there. You've probably heard of Lil B, the bass guy before. Whether that was intentionally or unintentionally, right? Let that boy cook. Swag. I mean, seriously, like this guy or not, he was ahead of his time. He was the first quote unquote troll rapper. Now, I'm not saying this is a good thing, but without him, you probably wouldn't have people like Lil Pump, uh, Smoke Perps, Lil Yachty. That's a big one right there. Pause. Sounded crazy. No Diddy over here, buddy. But, uh, He's a reason why that entire SoundCloud genre even exists, even though he wasn't a SoundCloud rapper. Rest in peace to XXX Tentacion, uh, Juice World. You can even ask people like Lil Uzi who alive right now. Man, Lil B was that dude for them, whether you like it or not. He definitely helped influence this new generation of rappers. And I'm not even saying sonically, more so from a uh, standpoint of being able to be yourself, be different. You get what I'm saying? But musically, he's pretty influential as well. Have you ever heard 21 Savage when he freestyle and say something to the extent of young 21, dun, 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 dun. That's Lil B the bass guy, man. Or we could go into the fashion standpoint. The reason Lil Uzi got that diamond uh, put in the middle of his forehead, as idiotic as it sounds, Lil B did it first. Even right now today, 2024, most of y'all probably don't even know who Lil B the bass guy is. But I bet you heard somebody say, let him cook, let her cook, let that boy cook. Again, this Lil B the bass guy, the phrase over a decade ago, let that boy cook. Check this out, right? One of Soldier Boy's biggest songs, Pretty Boy Swag. Hey, Pretty Boy Swag. That song would have never happened if there was no Lil B the bass guy. So contrary to popular belief, the guy had a, a significant impact on hip hop. Me personally, I'm a fan of him. Because till this day, people still don't get it. He's still trolling y'all. The guy can rap really well, right? But when he does that, nobody cares. So he's trolling y'all, letting y'all know, hey, y'all are complaining about the way I'm rapping. But when I actually rap, y'all don't care. He's been trolling y'all for over a decade and y'all ain't even know it. The dude could literally out rap a lot of the people that you listen to. But anywho, nonetheless, I'm a fan, right? And one day around, uh, I had like 3,000 subscribers at the time. I got a random DM from Lil B the Bass guy, giving me his phone number, telling me to text him. So I hit him up. He started telling me how he rock with my channel, how big he see my channel becoming in the future. Just a lot of good words, right? And now about 60,000 subscribers later, I just wanted to share that story because that text really motivated me, man. I rock with Lil B. Say what y'all want to about him. But this is a genuine dude and I don't think he get his flowers enough. Even this sexy red girl, right? Her new song. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Ah, shit up. But I do like that song, right? But that's Lil B the bass guy. Whoop, whoop. All of that is Lil B. And people don't realize it. See, when he was doing it, ah, he trashed. What is this? But now when people like Sexy Red came and like put a few tweaks on his style and she got a hit song. I mean, that's why she got Soulja Boy in the video because that sound sounds like that Soulja Boy era, which I just told y'all, that Pretty Boy Swag era, that happened because of Little B, that was Little B's sound. And shout out to Sexy Red because she know this as well. Uh, she even did a, uh, like a bass freestyle back in the day. So even she's aware of uh, Little B's influence. A decade later, it's time to admit, whether you like him or not, he did help influence a lot of these newer rappers and even some of the TikTok lingo that we say today. But yeah, shout out to Lil B, man. That's the realest rapper I met so far. And I chop it up with a few, you know. I'm just not one of those people. Oh, I just talked to this person. Oh, I just talked to that person. Like these people human just like you and I. But Lil B, definitely a real one, so shout out to him. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? 
Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man. Follow me on Instagram. TZF Baby 252. Hey, and by the way, my bad about Instagram. I haven't been posting in like the last two weeks. But I've been having some login and trouble going on. But everything's good now, so I'll start back posting here pretty soon. But I'm gone. I'ma fuck your bitch, nigga. I'ma fuck your hoe, nigga. Twam in my back like I'm sipping on a foe, nigga. Bitch, I'm in the street. Bitch, I'm in the street. Fuck this in the street.